All right. Hey guys, what's up? This is Wolf here one only. Before I actually begin this devlog, I have a little bit of a tutorial little thing for you guys. That's something that most people have not taught me how to do. <laughs> I've been watching like these Pokemon tutorial videos now and then, but there's two things that they have skipped over and have not told me at all as I was doing this. Um, I will also have a surprise in this video as well that I'm gonna show now. So, the main progress of the main town is here. We have buildings done. We have tile terrains. I just have not put in the rest of the stuff yet. I will be building it in this video as I go. But uh, the, fir the first thing that they have not taught me is how to make custom towels count as grass. I'm going to be showing you guys how to do that and showing you guys how to add your own battle theme to this. First things first, you don't need to like convert it through like any other app. You can just find a app that I found that converts whatever file you put in here to OGG. This is the main site that I use. I just I just literally typed in convert audio to OGG and I just threw it in there. And this site just automatically did it for me. I didn't touch any other settings or anything like that. It just literally changed it for me. And that was it. <laughs> there was nothing complicated about it. That's all you need to do if you're trying to just add in a song. And it also has like certain value meters to where you can turn it down and stuff built in to XP. But I'm going to show you guys how to do that now. So first off, open your game. Now, go to the new game. Bring up your debug, or you can push F9, but F9 is to stop my recording and start my recording, so that I have to do it the old fashioned way. Go to Info Editor. First, we're gonna be doing the terrain. Actually, I'm gonna show you guys um, that how I don't get any encounters here. I set up everything for encounters. Boom. I uh, need to get myself a Pokemon, actually. That's how I start my encounters. If I don't have a Pokemon, no encounter will actually start. So I'm just gonna get a Bulbasaur and make it level 15. That is very loud. I need to change the audio for that. Now look at this. Boom, okay. It's not doing any grass animations or anything. It is labeled as land right now. You, that That's the part they'll show you is, you know, how to change it to to land value or anything like that, but they don't change it. They, they don't teach you how to change stuff to grass and how to change the animations or anything like that. Watch. It's the most simple and easy thing. Go to info editor, go to terrain tabs. As you can see, grass is labeled as two. Tall grass is labeled as 10. If you want tall grass, Push Z. Now go to change tiles. Now go to your tile set that you created. Go down to the grass that you have made in your custom tiles. Click it. Now set it to any of these. I'm going to set it to tall grass. I've already set it to grass before and it's and it's worked. But I want to see how it works in tall grass. To set all of it to 10. So there won't be like any edges that just, you know, just don't work when one day and you just use that. You, know, you have to figure out how to edit it later. Save. Now with that, I should be able to counter things, right? Now I have to restart. Oh yeah, I gotta get myself a Pokemon again. <laughs> God damn it. Because I didn't save it. Add Bulbasaur. Loud noise. Boom. Encounter. 
is, is labeled as land, I can encounter things now. You guys saw that I, the first time, I could not encounter shit. That is literally how you set custom tiles to encounters. Just so you know, I, that, that wasn't explained to me or anything. I looked in videos and just wondered what the fuck was going on. Now, I'm going to show you guys the animations that come with just setting it to grass. You don't have to set it to tall grass. You can if you want to. Or you can just set it to grass and it'll have the animation with it. Now, I'm just going to set this to two instead. Because two is the one with the animations. You guys know in Pokemon, tall grass doesn't have animations. And I'm pretty sure there's a way to add your own animation, which I, I think I'm confident that I know how to do it. At least I think. We'll see. If it's as simple as it is from what everything I've learned so far, it should be easy. Now, it is set as grass. Exit editor. Ah, see? Here's the animations. Boom. Everything is set as grass. Simple. Easy. Now the grass has animations when I step on them. Simple. Just just that wasn't explained to me in any videos that I've seen what the fuck <laughs> now the next thing before I even try and figure out if there's another way to change grass animations uh, music for your Pokemon battles that also wasn't explained to me at all it was always just like hey trainer music it was just like excuse me motherfucker like explain okay so we're gonna go to map met metadata so this is a new thing the older videos only showed like metadata now it's updated to essentials which is changed so go to your map that you've created and go to uh, wild battle music and add in your own music. And this is the music that I just now actually uploaded to the channel. All you gotta do is either add it to your uh, background music file inside of Pokemon Essentials, and that's all you need, or you can add it through the uh, actual, like, other metadata way. Yeah, you can just go down here, go to metadata and import it from wherever it is on your uh, desktop and you're pretty much golden from there. So, yeah. Now, just to show you that it works, I I've been sitting here testing all this, so I'm not going to lie to you. This isn't like the final product. This grass isn't going to be here for the starting area. Oh, yeah. Keep forgetting. Give yourself a Pokemon. Duh. Then you get some encounters. Stupid idiot. Boom. There you go. That is, is that easy? That simple? Nothing hard about it. So if you guys have been looking for that, <laughs> there you go. So now I'm going to set up my the rest of my tile set and start just finishing the rep, rest of the new map. I only wanted to show that because I know I've seen a couple of like comments inside of those videos asking how to do most of this shit. And it was never explained, no responses or anything to them. So I'm doing that now. <laughs> there, you, there you guys go. If you guys have been waiting five years just to get the information. There you go. <laughs> With that said, uh, let me get the rest of my tile set in here and I will begin the actual devlog and finishing this map and showing the before and after, which I have technically just did. But surprise. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck me, dude. <laughs> I'll see you guys in a bit. 
Okay, hey guys, what's up? It's Wolf here, one and only. That whole little tutorial out of the way, this video is gonna be a little bit longer than I would enjoy it to be. But most of the video will not be me talking. I will pretty much disappear and everything else you guys will see by yourselves. And you know, just a little bit of speed development for the main map. All of this is also not the final project by the way of the main town as I put in the text that you guys have probably missed or didn't see um, this is just a placeholder this whole map is a placeholder I have other things you know coming together so yeah just give me a little bit more time um, as of right now the houses the houses are the main thing you know I'm going for like a fantasy type world for those of you guys who don't know an official name right now is Monster Girl Utopia. I didn't put it in Monster Girls Utopia, but that kind of sounded pretty offish for some reason. So I changed it to Monster Girl Utopia. So far, I've, like how much progress I've made with this, I don't know. For some reason, the little things feel off at the moment, but I think once I get the base game done, I'll probably go back and, you know, have some of the houses upgraded and shit like that. Who knows? At the moment, I'm pretty much set in stone of what the game looks like now, just to get the basics so I can start working on events and other things. So, at the moment, I'm content. This is basically what I'm trying to say. <laughs> I'm, I'm basically content with what's here at the moment. As you guys can see, I, I have been getting a lot of towels from a fiber artist at the moment that's you know doing all of this and you know actually making a lot of progress for me who either goes by the name Yankonin or Yankoni I'm pretty sure it's Yankoni but whichever one the name is will be down inside of the description like I said I'm gonna give all the all the fiber people credit you know because this is basically a fiber Let's just say this is basically my little fiber experiment. <laughs> Let's say that this, this is just basically an experiment with a whole bunch of like fiber artists, music, musicians, you know, things like that. A whole big fiber project that is going to be very interesting once I start getting into the monster phase because I have a lot of plans for the monster girls. And they, especially the starters. I have a lot of plans for the starters right now. I already have set in stone the three starters. They're of all forms and pre of all forms is just the thing that's gonna be kind of brain rattling to uh, think of at the moment. But as I've said before, I, I'm currently working and working out the money to continue the development of the game. So once I get like a you know, a demo phase where everybody needed to try out, maybe they'll have more, you know, more faith in it, you know, keep up with the project, things like that. Maybe, maybe they'll get some like, you know, interest. At the moment, we're done with the, with the buildings. And now we're working on the inside of the buildings. So, Yakuni is now, well, we'll be focusing on that. It, it was It's just gonna be simple things. Nothing like over the top detail at the moment. Like I said, we're just going for simple, getting the basics. And at the moment I am just basically focusing on learning. Learning everything I can about RPG Maker XP and the things I can change and can do. I think next, I'm probably going to be working on the UI myself and see what I can come up with. Then I'll probably go and look at the Fiverr people and see what they can make. <laughs> probably not. Not too sure. I, I might just hire Fiverr people to do it, you know, just because the whole thing is Fiverr project. But we'll see if I can find anybody. If I can't find anybody who can make the UI on that, you know, a unique UI and battlefield on that. I might just try and make my own and see how that looks. When I say that, that's kind of concerning. <laughs> but I'm interested to try at least for myself first, then then look at five people's. 
because I know there's going to be better than mine. But I needed to actually fit in with the game. Right now, Yakuni has been like very consistent with the art style. The only thing that's kind of throwing me off is the tree a little bit for some reason. It's like for some reason too bright. I don't know why. In my brain, it's too bright. It could use a little bit of coloring, but I think it's I think it's pretty fun. Yeah, I think it's fine. Never mind. Yeah, it should be alright. But if you guys find anything or have any suggestions, do leave them down in the comments. For towels, not for like, you know, monster girls at the moment. And we're we're just totally putting that off into like the far north <laughs> at the moment. Right now we're just focusing on towels and interior at the moment. Outside stuff, you guys can leave suggestions. Etc. Etc. I already have a lot of ideas for the outside stuff for details. Uh, the music that you guys are also hearing in the background as this is uh, going. I already put like a video up for it. Like I said at the beginning of the video, you guys can listen to that. You know, tell me how you feel about the battle music and I will also be making the overworld music for the town. Well, I won't be making it. I'll be looking for somebody to make it <laughs> on Fiverr, which will probably be the same person because they did actually a pretty good job. My brain isn't working right now to remember names. So you guys just go to that video and it will tell you who it was. <laughs> My brain, dude, it's just... It's already time for me to go to sleep because I have work tonight. So that's also a red flag. <laughs> so this video will be uploaded like tonight, more than likely, or somewhere around tomorrow. Not sure. <sighs> I'm actually happy. I'm actually really happy that I actually committed to this and I'm going to continue to commit to it until I'm done, you know, and who knows maybe somebody will come to light on fiverr and reach out to me first and uh ask to like change things up. i don't know who knows but like i said just to fully note that this is my own money not anybody else's that is going into this game as i'm working my job and paying bills paying bills kind of hinders that a little bit because i have to wait and like I think like an extra two months before I can actually like, you know, go back into the Fiverr stuff. So who knows? A Patreon could be a future, but first I want to finish the the first world before I start like, you know, have a have a demo prepared. That's basically what I'm trying to say. But as this 20 minutes, as you're seeing right here, I, I spent like, I think, 40 minutes trying to figure out what the heck was up with my uh what the heck was up with my towels <laughs> because for some reason the two uh stone road towels were not matching up and it was just my dumb idiot fault for not uh actually taking consideration that i need to actually cut out the 32 by 32 towel i only probably cut out like 32 times 28 and it was throwing me off that, that was basically what the issue was also see that i'm going into my uh towel sets you know making sure that people can't pass through like certain objects and stuff like that which was pain in the butt to actually like do especially when i'm trying to do this like tree thing that blocks off people i'll probably have something else for that probably just like cliffs you know have like cliffs you know, block off the sides. Yeah, we'll see. <laughs> With that said, I'm actually going to end it right there. At the end of the video, it will do a comparison of basically how the first map started to the progress of the new map that is still a work in progress. Then once I, I guess, finish the basics of the map, we will go into detail and start detailing out the whole map and everything at the moment
Either that, or I will start doing routes and start doing other things, then come back to that like way, way later on. Not sure how I'm gonna tackle that right now, but I'll, I'll just be thinking about it at the moment. I guess it's just interior, then I will figure out a, play, a way to block people off from, you know, going to the edge of the map, you know, stuff like that. Even though sometimes in certain games it's all right. It just looks off here and I, I need to fix that. It bothers me. So shut up, <laughs> deal with it. <laughs> I have to change it is my brain just does not like it as it sees it. But with that said, I'll see you guys on the next one. Until then, peace out. Hope you guys are enjoying the progress and the devlogs. Oh shit, oh yeah, that's also it. Um, on my downtime, I will be uploading, you know, videos to the main channel again. Um, probably nothing like too fancy, but I, I, I will be uploading again when I have downtime. And I do stream on Twitch when I have downtime and then I'm waiting for art as well. Just so that's no. Okay, but anyway, but then peace out. <laughs>